My name's Tony Ryan. I'm a professor of chemistry, plastics chemistry. And ever since David Attenborough made the blue planet, I've been like a bad smell. But plastic's amazing. Anything medical for the start. Think how it saves lives. Our life without it is unimaginable, but maybe we've got it out of balance. But you'd be amazed at how much is in the dentists because of all the regulations. I want to change how we deal with plastic. It might be a dirty word now, the P word, but we're fooling ourselves if we think we can live without it. Right guys, what do you think about plastic? It's absolutely awful. Is it? Yeah, because all of the fish are dying and it's just really bad for the environment. I do firmly believe that we have to get rid of plastic. Why can't we just get rid of everything well, like that and go back to the 1950s glass, and glass? glass. Milk, yeah, milkman. Yeah. It's bad for the environment. Okay, what about your little brother's wellies? What do you think they're made of? I'll tell you, plastic. What do you think your coat's made of? Plastic. Okay. No. Oh, shoes. Plastic. You're brilliant. Plastic shoes, plastic trousers, plastic jumper, plastic rucksack, plastic hairdo. <laughs> you are the ultimate plastic man. <laughs> what are your buttons made of? Plastic. Yeah. And your shoes? Plastic. Can't live without it. I love it. <laughs> it upsets me to see this amazing material being thrown away. Which brings me back to the dentist. Hi Danica, how are you? Good, thank you. How are you? Good. Steve good. Mulligan yeah, so works in an NHS there. practice in Rotherham and a private clinic in Sheffield. Both of them rely on plastic. So Steve's working with me on a research project questioning dentists' plastic habits. I think we've lost respect for it in a way because we use it so much. But we, we couldn't do our jobs without oh, no. plastics or single-use plastics. It's bin day at Steve's Rotherham practice. Two weeks of surgical waste, all single-use plastic. So all these bins are all from one practice? From one practice in South Yorkshire. Two weeks worth of waste from about five dental chairs doing routine dentistry. In, in here, there's, n there's not a risk of transmission of any sort of infection? There could be, but it could be rendered safe by the use of decontamination. Right. But because we have moved towards single-use plastics on the basis that we don't want any risk at all, right. we've become so risk-averse that we've become very plastic-heavy. And that's just the hard plastic. Outside, there's a couple of wheelie bins full of gloves and other soft stuff. And it all has to be incinerated. That in itself isn't a bad thing if the energy's recovered. Yeah, energy recovery is obviously a big thing in Sheffield. We have to think about the things like dioxins that are generated by incineration of plastic waste. And we've got to make sure that that's balanced up by the actual need for it as well. I'm astounded at the cornucopia of plastic Steve uses for just a simple checkup. So we have a cup that our patient may use to rinse. We've got a three-in-one air and water syringe so we can dry and wash teeth. We've got an x-ray film that's covered in plastic. There's a pair of gloves for the dentist. There's usually a pair of gloves for dental surgery assistant. There is an aspirator. The instruments come in plastic bags which come through an autoclave machine. The dentist wears a mask which tends to be with plastic particles in. Don't forget the bib, the dental floss, and the plastic pot for the polish. And the tray that it all sits on is also made of plastic. In my working life, I've never seen this many different plastics in one place at one time. It's amazing. And it's all single use and going straight in the bin. Wow, how things have changed. Gloves, not one in sight here. Now, there's a new pair for every patient. They're made of nitrile, so they could be recycled, but they poke about in people's mouths and get contaminated. So dentists throw them away. How many gloves do you get through in a day? Conservatively, I'd maybe see 25 patients perhaps. So there'd be a pair of gloves for me each procedure. There'd be a pair of gloves for my dental surgery assistant. So that would be 100 gloves if there's 25 patients a day. Scale this up nationally, NHS dentists perform about 83 million procedures a year. So if you think that there was at least maybe four gloves times 83 million, that's a lot of gloves. So th roughly 330 million gloves a year 
go in the bin along with all of this. How did we get here? Let's ask a sustainable dentistry expert. There's a lot of plastic here, Tony, isn't there? He spent years lobbying governments and dental bodies. What does he make of Steve's single-use waste? Every morning you go to work as a dentist and this is what you face. You have the Department of Health guidance telling you what to do and what not to do and you're scared to go against it. What's driven us down the path of using this much single-use plastic? It's patient safety. The problem being is, of course, that we continue to, uh, to do more and more to protect a patient's safety with respect to decontamination, but we don't think about what this is doing to the planet. It's clear where you could reuse, you could sterilise, you could have instruments designed to be used multiple times, but it's actually cheaper to incinerate them. Ultimately, being more sustainable is usually cheaper, but the problem being is it's the dentist that needs to bear the investment cost, not society. And there lies our problem. No one wants to be the one to pay. Dental care doesn't just happen at the dentist. We all have to brush our teeth. It's obvious which one's better for the environment, but which one do you use? Which of these two is better for the environment? The wooden one. And which kind of toothpaste did you use this morning? The plastic one. Why? Because they're cheaper. Which of these toothbrushes do you think is better for the environment? The wooden one. This one. Okay, because it's made out of wood. Wood, yeah. Okay. What kind of toothbrush did you use this morning? This one. Okay, the why? Plastic one. Which do you think is cheaper? Probably the plastic one. I used an electric one this morning, <laughs> which is, yeah. And how often do you replace the heads? Not as often as I should, to be honest. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> and, um, yeah. Your Yorkshire badge is safe. We'd like a circular economy where everything, every product is, is reused and reused for infinity, but it doesn't happen. We are a throwaway society. Well, maybe not all of us, not anymore. As I look to sort of what we could do to be more sustainable, I start, I've started asking myself questions. How much are we using? And could it be used any differently? And what happens at the end of the product's life cycle? Because we could work together to mean there were less plastics on this tray less different plastics on this tray yeah. and then they'd be easier to recycle. You've got to remember in a dental surgery you've got trained individuals who could possibly be putting these materials into different bags and that's been recommended by the Green Initiative. So for this sort of material this could be separated and then you could have a bag for this plastic and a bag for this plastic. And if you could separate these I have a way of dealing with them. Good. Clean, shred and mix with other plastics, then their new building materials. I've worked on plastics all my life and I hate to see them abused or wasted. So it's great to see the dentists get into grips with the problem. Why do you think people throw things away? Because they're lazy? Yeah. Okay, so 8 billion tonnes of plastics ever been made. That's loads. Yeah. That's so much. Not the stuff itself. Yes, it's how we, how we we've and well, it. And how we've changed it in, in, in my lifetime, yeah. you know, things that we didn't do 50, 60 years ago. That means in the next 50 years, there's just going to be more and more. And Unless. it's not going to go anywhere. Unless we change our ways. We're not there yet, but we'll nudge those dentists to stop squandering it and start saving the planet as well as our teeth. <laughs>